In this video, we're going to have a short look at how to add fractions. What is a fraction? Well, a fraction is something that's less than one. If you have a fraction of something, you have a bit of it. For this example, we're going to look at two and a half plus one and five six. Here it is, two and a half plus one and five six. There are a number of ways of going about doing this. You can add up the whole numbers first and then the fractions, or you can do it the other way around. Let's add up the whole numbers, because I think that's a little bit easier. So we have two whole ones here and one whole one there, giving us a total of three. So we have three, and then we have the fractions still to add, a half and five six. Let's move on to a blank page. So remember, we still have our three whole ones, and we still have to add up our half and our five six. Well, if you can remember from class, how do we add up fractions? Well, we have to make sure they're the same fraction type. To do that, we have to make sure they have the same denominator. So we could make them thirds or quarters or fifths or sixths, but they have to have the same one. And the way to do that is think, what number would six and two both divide into? Well, they'll both divide into six. So we can make six their common denominator. So five sixths is still going to say is five sixths. What we have to figure out is how many sixths would a half be? Now, if you think, how did we get from two to six? Well, it's three times. So we're going to do the same to the top. We're going to multiply one by three, and that will give us three. So a half is equal to three sixths. If you don't believe me, just look at our picture here. There's a half, there's three sixths. They're the very same. So now that we have them both as sixths, we can add three sixths and five sixths, and that makes eight sixths. So we had our three full ones still, and our eight sixths now. But what do you notice about eight sixths? Well, when we get to six sixths, that means we have a full thing. So if we have one, two, three, four, five, six sixths, that gives us another whole circle. So that means we have four, and we have two sixths left over. Two out of six. That two six can be simplified by dividing the top by two and the bottom by two to give us four and one third, because one third is the same as two sixths. Give the next couple a go yourself for homework and see how you get on. Don't stress too much about it, and if you're finding it too difficult, don't worry about it, we'll be going through them in class again tomorrow. 